common English collocations with the words big, great, large, deep, strong, and heavy. In English, a collocation is two or more words that go together naturally. Learning collocations is essential for making your English sound fluent and natural. Here are fifty common English collocations with the words big, great, large, deep, strong, and heavy. The word big is often used in collocations with a happening or event, for example, a big accomplishment, a big decision, a big disappointment, a big failure, a big improvement, a big mistake, a big surprise. The word great is often used in collocations with feelings or qualities. Great admiration, great anger, great enjoyment, great excitement, great fun, great happiness, great joy, in great detail, great power, great pride, great sensitivity, great skill, great strength. Great understanding, great wisdom, great wealth. The word large is often used in collocations involving numbers and measurements. A large amount, a large collection, a large number of, a large population, a large proportion, a large quantity, a large scale. The word strong is often used in collocations with facts and opinions. A strong argument, strong emphasis, strong evidence, a strong contrast, a strong commitment, strong criticism, strong denial, a strong feeling, a strong opinion, strong resistance. Strong is also used with the senses of smell and taste. The word deep is used for some strong feelings, like deep depression and deep devotion. It is also used in the expressions in deep thought and in deep trouble, as well as in a deep sleep. That means when the person won't wake up easily. The word heavy is used for some weather conditions: heavy rain, heavy snow, heavy fog. Heavy is also used for people with bad habits: a heavy drinker, a heavy smoker, a heavy drug user. There's also the expression a heavy sleeper. That's not someone who sleeps a lot. Instead. It's a person who doesn't wake up easily when sleeping. The word heavy is also used in collocations with two unpleasant things: traffic and taxes. Are you ready to test your knowledge of these English collocations? Try the English collocations quiz at the bottom of this page. Thanks for watching English tips from Espresso English. If you liked this video, please share it.